Hood's commanding officer also confirmed Lopez was undergoing evaluation for PTSD. And Ten on your side wanted to know about the process for diagnosis and if it would make him more likely to become violent. Stephanie Harris sat down with the director of mental health for Naval Medical Center Portsmouth. Steph? Tom, Dr. James Reeves told me that while a person can be diagnosed on their first visit, it usually takes about two or three sessions, so about a month for that diagnosis. We know Lopez just got stationed at Fort Hood about a month ago. As for the tendencies toward violence, here's what Dr. Reeves had to say. In terms of the literature and the research done on, on the violence with people with post-traumatic stress, I have not seen anything that shows that those with post-traumatic stress are any more prone to committing violent acts than anyone else. PTSD is primarily an anxiety disorder, so most who have it avoid crowds and can become isolated. When a person is diagnosed, Dr. Reeves said, there is not necessarily a reason to take away any duties or even their weapons. We have a lot of people with post-traumatic stress who've gone on with treatment and gone on to have very successful careers, and that's something that people should be aware of, that, that the potential to recover and to return to normal duty and to be perfectly fine in terms of your military career, that's something that you, people should expect. Army Secretary John McHugh said that Ivan Lopez served four months in Iraq. His records show no wounds, no direct involvement in combat, or any injury that might lead them to investigate traumatic brain injury. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.